Proper material handling of PVC coated conduit. The material handlers use protective gloves, eye protection, and protective footwear throughout the entire process. Loading and unloading conduit. The method we use for loading and unloading conduit varies based on the method of transportation. Our preferred method of shipment is via flatbed trailer. We also ship our conduit via LTL, which is less than truckload enclosed trailers. Flatbed trailer loading. Material handlers begin loading the flatbed trailer by placing two 4x4x8 four by four by boards six feet apart on the flatbed trailer. Next, the material handlers wrap two 4x4x8 four by four by boards with a fiber board that covers both with their length and width. This is done to further mitigate the risk of damage to the conduit. The bundles of conduit are loaded onto two fiber board covered 4x4x8 four by four by boards with an overhead crane or forklift. Bundles of conduit may be stacked on top of each other. This is accomplished by establishing a base layer of similar size conduit on the flatbed. Conduit bundles may be stacked by placing two cut-to-length 4x4 four four wood boards on top of the base layer, each separated from each other by roughly 6 feet of fiber board which has been cut to length. The bundles on the top layer are placed in an offset configuration on top of the 4x4 four four wood board. No more than two layers of conduit bundles are loaded onto the flatbed trailers. Flatbed trailer unloading. There are a number of ways to effectively offload conduit from a flatbed trailer. The method utilized will likely depend on the equipment available to the material handler. Prior to unloading the trailer, an area should be designated for the conduit to be stored. If the conduit is being stored on the ground, the area should be flat, free of debris, and large enough to accommodate the amount of conduit being stored. It is recommended that two 4x4x8 four by four by boards are placed 6 feet apart and aligned perpendicular to the direction the pipe is going to be stored. Commonly, a forklift is utilized to unload conduit from a flatbed trailer. It is recommended that the material handler operating the forklift remove the conduit bundle one at a time from the flatbed trailer. Care must be taken in order to ensure the forks do not come into contact with the pipe staged on the flatbed trailer. The driver should remove conduit bundles on the top layer before attempting to unload bundles from the bottom layer. Conduit should be placed directly on the 4x4x8 boards which have been placed in the designated storage area. If it is desired to stack multiple bundles of conduit, it is recommended to follow the guidance provided in the flatbed trailer loading section of this video. LTL Trailer Loading Conduit bundles are loaded onto trailers utilizing a forklift. Bundles are prepared by setting a 4x4 board on top of the bundle approximately 6 inches from the end of the conduit facing the forklift. This board is utilized to ensure the forks of the forklift do not come into direct contact with the conduit bundle. The forklift is positioned at the end of the bundle and the forks of the forklift are tilted forward and lowered on top of the board. A strap is then positioned roughly 4 inches from the end of the forks and is secured under the conduit bundle and over the forks. The forks are then tilted back towards the forklift. The bundle is gently lifted. The bundles are positioned carefully onto the trailer. The bundle is then gently lowered and the board and straps are removed. 
LTL trailer unloading. The recommended process for unloading a trailer is the same as loading a trailer. And remember, protective gloves, eye protection, and protective footwear should always be used when handling conduit. <laughs>